Hey guys and good morning. It's 6 a.m. right now. Just a few days ago I got this new tank. It's pretty large so let me go and get ready and I'll show you guys what I got. Right here is a brand new tank that I just got from one of my friends and it's the biggest tank that I've ever owned. Um, so let me show you a bit of, of the tank right now. This is a 5 foot tank and I think it's about 150 gallons but there's another tank inside here which I'll show you later which is the filtration so that adds more gallons to this tank and right now it's a little bit messy I've been cycling this tank so that we'll be able to put fish in this tank soon um, but we need to do a few things today for this tank so right here you can see that there's a heater. I think this is a 300 watt heater. I'll show you the box later. And I've got a driftwood in here. I'll, I'll be using this for the scape. It's gonna be a very simple scape. And I'm going to have to clean the, the bottom of this tank because there's a bunch of algae growing as you can see on the side as well. There's a bunch of algae and I'm gonna have to clean that off. And I want to add some sand in this tank. So today we'll be adding sand in this tank. We'll be putting this heater, um, I think in that corner right there. You can see there are suction cups on it already. This is an Eheim aquarium heater as you can see right there. And also we need to put some air stones. This right here is an air stone and um, we'll, we'll be putting two of them. So let me show you the inside. So right here on this corner we've got this little um, thing that we can pull out and this is some filter wool. We'll check that out later and here's the air pump. So we'll be using this to put oxygen um, into the tank and here we've got a few accessories and stuff. We have like a pH pen right here. Um, we've got a few vitamin Look at this, Arwana vitamin. This is from the guy who gave me the tank. And we've got this bacteria or whatever, and some medication. This medication I got on my own because I had fish before that were a bit sick. Um, so let me turn on the light in this cabinet. So the switch right here. Yep, got it. All right, let me open this thing up. So it opens up here and here. And here. So this is the filter underneath the tank and you can see how amazing it is. The first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting this heater in the right spot. So I'm going to take this out and move it over here. Just like that. And suction cup it onto the glass. Perfecto. Okay. There it is. Get this through. Got it. And now we just plug this thing in. Done. So the heater is now turned on and it is set to 30 degrees for the time being. We'll adjust it in the future if we need to. So this right here is a two-way splitting air pump as you can see right here. And you can also adjust the power of the bubbles that come out. So let's go and connect this thing up and give this tank some aeration. Alright guys, so I've managed to attach the air pump to the air stone as you can see right here and I'm really happy with the way they're looking so far. So this is how it looks from the top. This right here is the air pump and this blue thing here is called a check valve and I've got two of them here as you can see and that will prevent water from getting um, sucked back and ruining your pump because that's a possibility without this um, when your pump turns off sometimes water can suck back through and ruin this whole thing so with this that will be prevented. Right now I'm going to stick these two suction cups at the back um, of the tank and put the airline tubing through this white holder so that the, the tubing will be flush against the back of the tank because right now they're like floating around and it doesn't look so nice 
So with that, it should look a bit better. And just like that, we've got the airline tubing stuck flush on the back of the tank using those suction cups and you can hardly see them at all. Um, and I think they look great. So before I added these air stones into the tank, I was thinking of using these ones. These are ceramic air stones and I've used them before. They're similar to the ones that Joey uses, the king of DIY, in his 2000 gallon aquarium, except they're a bit smaller. And I went with these small ones just because they were a bit, a bit more compact and I felt they looked better. But what do you guys think? Do you like the ceramic ones or the smaller ones? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll check them out. Next up, we're going to be cleaning the bottom of this tank because you can see right now that it's really nasty in there. So we're going to be using this sponge to clean the whole thing up down there, wiping it up. I'm not going to be doing a water change because the, the, the filter wool will be catching all that nasty stuff and I can just change the thing later. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I don't think you want to watch me do that, so let's skip ahead. Now that looks so much better. What do you guys think? You can see it still looks a little bit dirty around here, but that's completely okay because now we're going to get some sand for this tank. So let's go ahead and look for some nice, natural looking sand. So I'm back from the fish store and I was going to record the part where I got the sand, but I forgot to bring along my camera. So here is the sand that I got. This right here is the JBL Sanzibar River Sand. And one bag is five kilograms and I'm going to be adding two of these bags into this tank. I just want a, a, a very thin layer and if the base is a little bit exposed, I'm totally fine with that because I'd rather have a thin layer than a thick layer. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the sand into this bucket and rinse it off and then we're going to add it to this tank. So this is the third round of rinsing and I think it looks clear enough. It's gonna look really clear in the tank. So let's go ahead, throw this water out and then we'll put the sand in the tank. I'm standing on a ladder right now and I'm going to just dump the whole, this whole bag of sand into the tank. And if there were fish in this tank, I would do it slowly, one, uh, one little cup at a time or whatever. But since there's nothing in this tank, I'm just going to dump the whole thing in. So we are all done. We've put both bags in this tank, as you can see right here. Now we've just got to spread this around so that it evens out a bit better. And then we can go ahead and clean the glass because you can see that there's a bit of algae growing. And we will be all set for some monster fish in this tank. I've always wanted to put a dogfish in this tank. What do you guys think? Okay, maybe not. Maybe not a dogfish, but we are going to put some monster fish in this tank. So we are all done now. The sand is nice and evenly spread out. There's a bit of like bumpy areas and stuff, but that's all gonna get evened out when we get fish in this tank. And you can see right here, this is one of the downsides to this tank right now, but it's easily fixable. We've got this piping right here that pushes the water down from the sump tank. It pushes down and then it pushes the sand away. As you can see right now, the sand is being moved, but we can easily fix that by putting a PVC pipe elbow right there so that it points out and disperses the water this way instead of just shooting down. So we'll do that next time. Okay, let me go through the tank a bit with you. So we've got this nice hood or canopy or whatever you call, but there's no cover here. So we've got a nice glass cover here. This is something I had from before and I wanna do a DIY cover for that area and this area because we are gonna get a fish that could possibly jump out of this tank. Um, so, also, what else? Oh yeah, one thing about this, we've got some paint chipping over here, but we can go and fix that next time. This is normal, it's a two year old tank, um, and it's given to me by my friend, so I'm really thankful of him. 
uh, for giving me this tank. We've got our pump right there. That pump is is what gives the tank some oxygen aeration right here as you can see. We've put two air stones in here. Very nice. And we've got the sand. Sorry, I don't know if you can hear that, but it's raining outside and there's lightning. But here we go, we go back. So we've got the sand, the algae, there's still a bit of algae, but algae is beneficial, so that's gonna stay there for now. And oh yes, I forgot to tell you about this thing right here. So without this acrylic thing, with the silicone on the side, you can see the white silicon. I really wanna change that to black silicon. But without that, the sand would be getting sucked in and up and into this area where it would flow down to the sump tank. So that's why I had to create this little thing so that water can still flow through from up above through that gap right there into that gap right there but the sand won't be able to go through so that's why I made that um, if you guys were wondering and we've got the driftwood here this is a driftwood that I had from before and the sump tank is inside there There's two amazing things about this tank right here. First of all, it's a curved front glass. That I think is just amazing. It's so aesthetically pleasing and I think it looks awesome. And then secondly, look at this. Soft and slow closing doors. The hinges on these have been changed by my friend so that they don't slam shut. And I think that is so nice. And then also I've got to thank 181 Aquarium for passing this light to me. Um, I'm not sure what this, uh, Schuber Wright, I think. Yeah, he passed this light to me. This is uh, a four foot light, but it fits on my five foot tank. So thank you for this. Check out 181 Aquarium on Facebook and check out the fish that they have. And if you're in Singapore, go and visit them. They are at Ang Mo Kio, block number 233. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Hit that red subscribe button down below so that you don't miss any of the action that's gonna be happening in this tank. And I will see you next time.